Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Chad Dogster Bond, Bob Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Coaster Chow review from the Flume and Alton Towers Resort, the Splashtastic Flume that operated between 1981 and 2016. Now before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell see you in this YouTube video. I just found out, I just saw the shortlist for the Clamshell Awards, I didn't make the shortlist this year. Um, so I was a bit gutted about that, but there's always next year. I'm not too fussed about it. There's some great nominees, so uh, make sure you go check out the Clamshell Awards uh, where you can vote for your favourites uh, to win the awards at the top three. Hopefully, fingers crossed, in this channel's future, we'll get into a top three at some point, so um, make sure you go vote for your favourite channels. I'm sure I'll be voting for my favourite as well, because uh, there's some great channels in there. But thank you very much to those who did vote for me, uh, if you did. Um, and like I said, there's always next year. Uh, so let's get into this video then. Let's get straight back to work. So this is on the Flume Alton Towers. So this opened at the park in 1981. It, the, the original theme when the log flume first came in, it was when it was first known as the log flume. Uh, the original theme was like logs and like water, like logs going through a water transportation channel, and that was the whole theme around the log flume. Uh, in 1984, to appreciate to. To conclude with the construction of the black hole, the dinosaurs from the old Springfield Center area were moved around the log flume site to create a bit more theming to the flume ride and also to make way for the construction of the black hole roller coaster in the Springfield Center, which would then became known as X Sector in 1998. Back in 2004, Imperial Leather came into the log flume along with the opening of Spinball Wizard in Adventureland, and the log flume became the flume unplugged with an Imperial Leather sponsorship. A few years before the ride's closure, the Imperial of the sponsorship was removed, but the bathtub theme of the cars and the theme of the ride remained around the attraction. Now, the flume theme uh, is very, very original and very, very uh, unique to the log flumes around the country. You know, I personally really liked the flume's theme. I feel like it was one of the most original themes of the, fl of the flume, and I feel like it was one of the most original themes to keep. And I'm really glad they kept the bath theme right up until the ride's closure. During Scarefest 2015, the ride was announced to be closed for the rest of the season, but in February 2016, the park announced the ride will be closed permanently after many seasons of operation for future development. That future development turned out to be the GCI Wooden Roller Coaster Wicker Man, aka Secret Weapon 8, that opened at Alton Towers in 2018. Now, my review of the flume is... I, I, I can't rate that ride highly enough. In terms of closed and still operating attractions, it was... Uh, one of, if not my favourite, flume ride that I've done so far. Uh, just the whole bath theme and the, the whole sort of transportation of these bathtubs around this water channel uh, and just the whole splashing. One of my favourite pieces of theming is the giant duck. Uh, that was a brilliant piece of theming. Um, like the giant duck that makes the quack, quack, quack in the dark room uh, after one of the drops. You come round the corner and you see this massive duck. Uh, it was a fantastic piece of theming uh, in the ride and uh, great sort of antagonising piece of theming ready for uh, the lift deal, the main lift deal into the final drop. Uh, so it's a real build up tension moment just to give you a bit of a laughter before that massive drop uh, at the, right at the end, the final lift deal and the final drop. Um, it was definitely a fantastic log flume attraction. One of my favourite bits about the queue line is the fact that compared to the Wicker Man queue line now where that sort of, sort of weaves underneath the ride, this one sort of is on the boundary of the site so the queue line sort of starts at the front of the site and the flume's queue actually works, it's like a, like a um, like an outward path sort of around the boundary of the site. The Wicker Man queue starts at the same place but it sort of weaves in and, it's sort of in and out of the wooden coaster ride. But this one was around the boundary of the site so it only went under part of the final drop. So, you know, I kind of liked that about Flume's queue, the fact it was just sort of all around the boundary of the site so they have the rest of the site to play with for the actual like ride itself. Uh, one of my other favourite bits about the ride is of course the uh, after the final drop when if they're on you get those like sprinkler fountains with the duck theme theming on the top of them so I really liked that. There are still a couple of flume boats in storage at Alton Towers. If I could I would like to get one um, but I'm not sure if that's going to be a possibility because I've got no room to put it at the minute but if I have the opportunity I would get one of those flume boats. Maybe, you never know, maybe I could um, sort of use part of it and sort of st stick it up uh, there as theming or something. 
but uh, I don't know, I mean it'd be cool to have one. But the Flume was definitely a very special ride in the Alton Towers history books and definitely one of the best rides in the park's history. Uh, so make sure you share your memories of the Flume in the comments down below. And for now guys, my name is Coach Chow. Thank you very much for watching this review of the Flume at Alton Towers Resort. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Keep living the coast alive and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day my friends.